Valve updates the Steam Deck with OLED display, overhauled internals. Valve has announced an updated version of the Steam Deck and the headline feature is the new 7.4 inch OLED display. That's a mere 0.4 inches bigger than the original Steam Deck LCD display and it retains the same 1280 by 800 resolution. However, everything else related to the display has been improved and the refresh rate is now 90Hz rather than 60Hz. The display is also a lot brighter, with an SDR rating of 600 nits and an HDR rating of 1000 nits. Valve also claims a 110% P3 color gamut, a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio and a sub 0.1 ms response time. On top of that, Valve has added what the company calls high performance touch which is said to improve the responsiveness of the display. It's not just the display that has been improved. As Valve has moved to a 6 nanometers AMD's and 2 based SOC which seems to allow the GPU to run at 1.6 GHz at all times, as Valve no longer lists a frequency range for the GPU. The power envelope remains the same though, with a range of 415 watts. Paired with the new SOC is faster up UDDR5 memory at 6400 mount S, up from 5500 mount S which should provide a small boost in gaming performance. An improved cooling solution is also part of the package, which is also likely a reason for the more constant GPU clocks. Gone are the entry-level storage SKUs and the OLED version of the Steam Deck only comes with 512GB or 1TB of internal storage. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module has also been overhauled and now supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. The battery has also been boosted from a 40 WHR pack to a 50 WHR pack and Valve now claims 3 to 12 hours of battery life during gaming, as well as faster charging times. Finally the weight has dropped by 29 grams, which might not be much, but still impressive considering the larger battery pack. The downside you ask? That would be the price as Valve is asking for us 549-569 euros for the 512GB version, with the 1TB coming at us 649-679 euros when it becomes available on the 16th of November.